I'm Naz, I'm a traveling teacher and artist. Welcome to Art Club. Join our journey each week, we're on our new channel. We'll be sharing lots of things that you can make at home. Simple materials to make creative, colorful, and wonderful things. You can give us gifts or be proud of and hang up in your own home. So today we are going to be making something different using odd socks which all, all my socks always go missing. You're going to be creating a sock, socky pillar today. Sock caterpillar, socky pillar. Um, so just some simple materials needed and you'll be able to give your odd socks a new lease of life and create a little friend. So today we're going to be creating your own little sock caterpillar. So using odd socks, so all the socks when they go to your washing machine and get lost, you can use them and create something really cute and wonderful to keep. This is Bert here and this is Buddy. Really simple materials needed to create these sock caterpillars. There's lots of different designs here and wonderful ones that you can use. So using some things from around your home and you may have some other creative pieces lying around that you can use. You need a scissors, a pipe cleaner or some garden wire, anything to decorate it with like pom-poms my favourite or something else, three hair bands or um, elastic bands or even string to tie, depending on the size of your sock you may need more, an odd sock, some scrap bits of fabric or felt and then something to stuff the sock caterpillar with to make it nice and squidgy. You can use an old pillow. If you don't have that, you could use some odd, odd socks to put inside or even some scrap fabric cut up. The other thing you could use is some cotton wool balls. There's lots of different things you can use for the stuffing. So you also need something to glue it with. That could just be some tape. It could be PVA glue or fabric glue. Today I've got a glue gun just to make things a little bit quicker. Right, let's get started with our make. So Bert, Bert and Buddy are just going to go to the side a moment. Okay, so first of all, get, take your sock, take some stuff in, aerate it is really important. So you want to get lots into it. Make that into a ball and stuff inside and do that and get that all the way to the end because that's going to be the head so you want quite a bit of stuffing in this top piece and that's going to be the head of your sock caterpillar so keep going until you've got that as a head once you're happy with that then you take a headband or an elastic band or tie. So you can form it with your hands just to get a really nice shape. Take your hairband or your, your bobble, whatever you have to tie. And just tie around the head nice and close to the top. Push that along and make sure you've got it as tight as you can. And this will make all the difference later on. Okay, so once you've got your head, then you need to create your body shape. Again, stuff right down, push into place and keep going until you've got your body coming into space. You can just give it a good kind of shape on the outside and that creates your next piece of body for your sock caterpillar. And you might find, depending on the sock you use, you may need more than three bubbles or ties. It just depends as you're making along. So that's your next piece. Then stuff your next part of your body. So keep going. going with your tie in so that's the sock body okay get that 
tie nice and close together and then you can probably fit one more little body if you like so it's dependent on your design you decide what body shape that is going to have for this one I'm just going to show you, you can even use a pipe cleaner so just you can cut your pipe cleaner in half and just tie around the edge so whatever you've got to hand you'll be able to use to tie your sock caterpillar and the body shape should get smaller as you're going along like so so that's your sock caterpillar body so next you want to give your sock caterpillar a little bit of character so we need to get some eyes on it here so either with googly eyes you can stitch on them if you like as well so it's completely up to you what type of eyes you choose for your sock caterpillar for this one i'm just going to do some simple cut eyes you could even use paper if you haven't got fabric to hand and cut some shapes yourself. So just cut two shapes. And then once you've got the white, you want to cut either black or a different color for the pupils. I like mine looking slightly to the side, like Buddy there. So then just cut around and create your eyes. Once you've cut the one shape, you can put it on top of the other and use it as a template. tidy those up and then stick them on so you can stitch them on if you don't want to glue this is just to make it a little bit quicker today okay And then I usually place the eyes on the heel of the sock. Oh, sorry, not the heel, the front of the sock, the toe of the sock here, because you usually get a different colour. So it'll just start to come alive with a little face. And if you decide to, you could stitch a mouth or you can add a mouth on with some scrap fabric. So, and then again, just add some glue. Be very careful if you're using anything with hot glue, so make sure you have somebody help you. But again, you can use fabric glue, and if you have more time, you can stitch it on as well. So there we are, a lovely character. And what's left then, I think is a really kind sock caterpillar, so I usually give them a little heart. And then a little added bit of decoration, which I'll show you next. I'm going to place a heart on here. So there's a lovely heart, it's a lovely kind creature here. And then, antenna is the fun bit, so you can place this around the head in half twist in place and then it's up to you what shape you make so whether you curl them in or out completely up to you so you might like them that way instead so there's your antenna and the only thing left to do then is add some decoration so whether you add a hat or a flower you could add cut shapes on top and patterns or even pom-poms, my favorite. So we'll just add a few little pom-poms on top. But again, whatever you've got to hand, if it is paper or other items you want to stick on, that's completely fine. And again, you could stitch these on if you have more time. Let's take the glue. So all of a sudden, 
have a lovely little sock caterpillar. Then you have to decide on a name and you can even make a little adoption certificate. So I think this, she looks like a Betty. So this one is going to be called Betty. Um, the different socks you use, if you use baby socks or child socks are going to be much smaller. So you can even make a lovely little family of sock caterpillars. If you want to make a leaf to go with it it's just a simple trace a design draw a design and again like we've done the collage for the birds and the other designs you can just add lots of paper and collage on top one here i've done just with a piece of scrap cardboard and we've made it with some book paper over the top so just lots of collage and a, and a glue stick so rip paper and go for it um, there's lots of different designs I love creating these sock caterpillars so you can just go mad with them and I really look forward to seeing what you create. Please share your designs with Create with Naz, tag me in and Art Club. All the details are in the description and I'd love to see what you make. You'll be part of a community gallery then and also um, a featured artist, an art bag will be on its way to you. So you'll be featured on our lovely pages and you'll get some lovely things to carry on making. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, create with Naz, join me next week for more fun crafts and creativity.